So, it's early 2020. Everybody knows how weird that time was. It was middle of the night and I couldn't sleep. I was clicking through the YouTube when I stumbled on the channel that really stuck with me. That channel was called Brackless. Respect. I decided to make my first game. That's when I made my first mistake. For days I analyzed Unity, Unreal or maybe Godot. I watched comparisons, checking what was better for what. It's feel like the most important decision ever. But the truth is, it doesn't matter what you pick. You are not choosing a life path. In this moment, you are just picking a button that say, new project. Back then I picked Unity. I opened my first project, added a cube, made it move. I had my first game. Hey, sorry for interrupting. I'm small channel with a big plan. Hit subscribe. And if you are still unsure, stick to the end. Something unexpected can change your mind. I started watching tutorials and followed every step by step. I went from the one tutorial to the next, thinking I was making a progress. But in reality, I wasn't creating anything on my own. The problem is you only learn on the surface without understanding what's really going on. It's not making a game, that's just recreating someone else's work. After copy enough code from the YouTube, I said to myself, you are ready. I wasn't. So I got a moving cube. Time to make RPG. Zero experience, no plan. But in my head, a grand adventure. I could already see combat, inventory, dialogue and open world. There was one small problem. I tried to do everything at once without knowing the basics. That kind of project was doomed from the start. It was just way too big. Instead of learning, I got frustrated and finished nothing. So I started another project, then drop it. New idea, new project. And so it went. Folder full of games that never made it past the main menu. But the truth is, you're learning the most by finishing. A finished game gives you experience Confidence, a real lesson. Even a tiny game beats unfinished idea. A few months later, I found out game jam were a thing. I keep putting off joining my first one. Thought I wasn't ready. That I will embarrass myself. Meanwhile, several editions went by. But the truth is, just go and try. You will learn more than you will in weeks of solo fingering. And the bonus is, you meet amazing people who also love the game dev. So I create something. Instead of testing the idea, I jumped straight into building the full game. I made maps, UI, menus, system. All before even knowing it was fun. But the truth is, all I needed was a small slice of the game. The simple prototype. One mechanic, one scene. That would show if the project had potential or not. I thought I would finish this in the week or two. At first it went fast. Everything seems great for the while. Then things go complicated. You know the rule 90-10? 90% of the game get done in the 10% of the time. The rest take forever. Never trust your own estimates. Just build and adjust. I said it many times on this channel. I'm not an artist. So my first attempt looked like MS Paint nightmares. Game works, but visually it was a mess. Then I discovered something simple. Color palettes. Good palette makes everything look better. Even base and shapes. You don't need to be an artist for your game to look good. I didn't let anyone play my game. It's not ready yet. One more future, one more UR fix. Then maybe. Meanwhile, I was losing real feedback. But that's exactly why you should share it. You see your game through rose-colored glass. Players will tell you in 5 minutes if it works 
odd if it sucks. At least I had a perfect menu, no one ever saw. I thought if I made a good game, people would find it. But the truth is, even the best game can disappear into the Steam void. Thousands of games are released every year. How will anyone find yours? Marketing isn't extra, it's a part of game development. You have to talk about your project from the start, even if it's ugly. Because if you don't show your game to the world, no one else will. That's also why I start this channel. Not only get people into game dev, but also to slowly introduce them to my own project. Still watching? There is fun challenge for you. Once we hit 1000 subscribers, I will do special giveaway. One lucky subscriber get opportunity to get the name to the NPC in my game. This can be your name, nickname or just the man. Either way, this will be in the game forever. Just make sure you hit subscribe before we hit 1000. Thank you for watching. See you in the next devlog.